Hello everyone, this is Barb at Mystic Door Tarot and thank you so much for joining me today. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. Now let's jump into your quick glance at the energy of the day for Monday, June 27th, 2022. Today we have, oh wow, Major Arcana card, Judgment. Let's bring this in a bit. <laughs> so, we have the Judgment card showing up again today. So now with it following the Ten of Swords, and the Ten of Swords is Conclusion, something that needed to come to an end. And for some of you, spirit is helping you out, kind of forcing your hand, bringing something to an end to point you in a new direction. The judgment card is the card of rebirth. So there's obviously a message that's trying to get through to push you in the right direction, maybe steer you away from the wrong direction that you might be venturing into. Now, again, as I mentioned before, when the judgment card showed up on Saturday, as recent as Saturday, this is the card of drastic change. It's about release to review what's happening around you. What's happening in your life? What's going on? We see the angel here trying to really get that message out, and it could come through in the form of your gut instincts, your intuition, your little inner voice mentioning something to you or a thought keeps popping in your mind. It can come through meditation. This is angelic messages trying to get through, trying to get a message through for your highest good. The numerology with judgment is number 20, which reduces to two, which is that there's two forces trying to come together. This could be in the form of union balance, harmony, and two is also the number of the sacral chakra, which has to do with change. So change is needed, a shift of direction, going down a different path. And once again, we have judgment, the card of review, change, releasing the past, previous energies, maybe previous beliefs, Truly being honest with yourself, tuning into your higher calling to learn where to go to next. So pay attention to the signs, the signals that your little voice might be saying to you, or an idea that pops in your head. This is the card of transition, and as I mentioned in the Saturday reading, I feel the judgment card is showing up way too often, trying to get us aligned for the shift, the change that's coming in March 2023 with Pluto moving into Aquarius. Where it's moving from Capricorn, an earth sign, into Aquarius, which is an air sign. That's tremendous change coming in. And the fact that the judgment card shows up again, kind of a very clear message that if something has ended in your life, there's a reason for it. You need to be going down a different path. You need to be going in a different direction. And that's going to benefit you with this planetary alignment that's coming up in the spring 2023. So change your perspective. Listen to what your intuition is telling you. Move forward if you're being guided in a new direction. And with this being a general reading, this could be moving forward or shifting in regards to relationships how you look at them, what you expect from them, releasing old feelings from past relationships. It could be in regards to your job or career. That's going to be a big one since Pluto's moving out of Capricorn, which is Earth, the material, the pinnacle energy. It's going to be going into air, Aquarius. So a pretty big shift is headed our way. And the message of don't be left behind, don't be left out, you really have to be open to the new things that are going to be emerging with this planetary alignment because it's going to be with us for at least the next decade. Very exciting 
new possibilities coming in. So if something has ended in your life, that could possibly be spirit trying to push you in the right direction. And again, that could be in regards to relationships, where you're living, the job that you do. It might be in a job that is going to be what I'm going to say obsolete in the very near future. As technology is what is going to have rapid movement in the next few short years. And by 2025, we could be doing things very differently. And certain things will then be obsolete. So having the judgment card show up so quickly, spirits trying to show you, get your attention by having that come out. And then the Ten of Swords, that something needs to end. You need to go off in a new direction. And then bringing judgment in again is about listening to your gut instincts, listening to where to go to next. And in case you didn't catch Saturday's reading, the two crystals that are affiliated with the judgment card is malachite and fluorite. So possibly meditating today with one or both of these crystals can help you decide where to go to next. Thank you so much for joining me today. Please be sure to subscribe, help support my channel, love and abundance. Until tomorrow.